good happy Monday morning to you Stacy did you like that hi welcome back to my channel I am so excited today to participate with um, our plant our plant based bunch um, formerly live well and be strong um, I'm doing a collab with Stacy and we are going to do a vegan holiday dish for you anyway I am I chose, I am, I am making, I chose to make um, chocolate zucchini bread. Chocolate zucchini bread is something that um, I only associate with Christmas because the first time I had it was when my sister-in-law made it as Christmas gifts one year for us. And I love it so much. And when I was kind of looking around for a recipe that I would do, uh, this came up and I made it once and we loved it. Okay, what I have here for the healthy double chocolate zucchini bread, vegan, which is gluten-free, we have a flax egg, and what you're going to do is you're going to use this flax meal and some water and make a vegan egg with it. And I've done that many times before, and it turns out just fine. And let me move this thing away. You're going to need some zucchini, and... This is just uh, approximately, well you need one cup of shredded zucchini, I just shredded a zucchini about this big and excuse me, it'll be fine. We love zucchini and it worked fine just last time. You need a half a cup of sunflower butter. Now I don't have any, but I made it with the almond butter that I do have and it turned out beautifully. Um, we have made some chocolate zucchini brownies before with almond butter and it turns out beautiful. You also gonna need a half a cup of maple syrup. Now, <clears throat> I only did a third of a cup and if I was more on the ball, I would have used my homemade apple butter, but the kids ate it all yesterday, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of applesauce along with my maple butter for the sweetening. And then you are going to need some I'm kind of all over the place right now because I'm looking at the recipe as I'm doing this. You're going to need some um, vanilla extract, some apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of a some kind of dairy-free milk. I use cashew. It's the unsweetened kind, so there's no added sugar. Um and one cup of gluten-free oat flour. Now I don't have oat flour, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my oats and I am going to um, put them in my coffee grinder and it grinds them up into a nice flour. And that's how I'm gonna make that. You are also gonna need a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder and some baking soda. Believe me, this is baking soda. It's worn off, but it is baking soda and some salt and you would have let me try this one. you would have normally used also some um, chocolate chips enjoy life has a vegan chocolate chip recipe and I would have put that in except my family ate it as a snack one evening they had popcorn and chocolate chips over a movie while I was grocery shopping oops and those things are $6 a bag, which means I'm not replacing it for a recipe. So when they eat this chocolate zucchini bread, they can remember that that's why it doesn't have chocolate chips in it. So let's get started. I want to show you how I, t how I make this recipe. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set your oven. And this is an important step because I don't always remember to do this. Okay, and then to make your... Um, you know, your, your flax meal, vegan egg, you're just going to take one tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of water. I'm just going to, it says to set in the fridge for about five minutes to, to thicken up. So this is like a little mesh bag. You, um, we find it at Home Depot in the painting section. It's really fine and it's got a little elastic on top and I'm literally going to push everything through and squeeze it. We need to add 
add our flax egg. You need to add your almond butter. Now the maple syrup. And this is where I'm going to add my um, applesauce. I'm not going to put the whole thing in. Okay. Put. There we go. Now we need one teaspoon of this. And one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. We're going to add our milk into here. Where's the Nope. Next we're going to add that oat flour. And like I said, I'm going to show you how I grind it in my coffee grinder. Nope, nope. So now we need one, one teaspoon of baking soda. A quarter teaspoon of salt. What's it called? Chocolate zucchini bread. Mm. Is it a vegan one? Mm-hmm. Yes. trying to get the mess up there. Just wait, Ben. What? Just wait. 